drizzling here, certainly, Bob, and uh, we're down here with Darrell Waltrip. <laughs> yeah, drizzling, yeah, right, we're getting wet. And this guy, on to me, this guy, I think we're going to, I think we're on our way to Kansas. <laughs> well, I think so. We're so <laughs> uh, This guy is still smiling from uh, Wilkesboro. And uh, let's talk to the driver first. Now, what are the drivers, what do you think about having to sit here and wait for it to rain? Does that bother your concentration at all? Oh, no, I was ready to race. Uh, you know, it, it never gets too wet for me to race. I was pretty well ready. The car was warmed up. and. Uh, I was pretty well ready to go, but a uh, car owner, he was on the radio squealing about the tracks wet and might tear up the car. So, uh, you know, that's, I guess that's why we stopped. All these car owners up down through here must have decided it was too wet to race. Well, let's check in with the car owner here for this uh, Western Auto car. And uh, now here, here he is, here he is. What, what, what's your thoughts about running this race today? You, you think Daryl just doesn't want to run out here because it's a little wet? No, uh, yeah, I'm glad with all I all like. I don't want it. If it ain't perfect, I don't want to go with it. I always got public. Pumba driver, you know, they, they were crying, crying on the radio, car was loose. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with it, but I'm going to tell you something. Uh, I, 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 I'm glad not to call four cars and there's a problem with this. Well, let's, let's, let's grab a driver back and see just uh, how, how he's taking this form out there from the owner now. Now, Daryl, we just talked to your the owner a minute ago, and he, uh, and, uh, <laughs> and he uh, felt like it, maybe the driver doesn't want to drive this thing with a little damp out here. Uh, you know, all I've heard out of that owner is all this year is uh, how much money he spent and don't tear up the car and race clean and uh, I, I, I'm going to unhook my radio. I'm tired of listening to him because every time I get to making some real good moves, the owner steps in and, and starts telling me how to drive. Well, I, I think you ought to go above the owner and go right to see what I'm going to do. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get me another contract. I believe I really am. I hear there's a couple rides available and I might switch. Well, I heard that that, uh, that, that Morgan McClure team made, oh, here he is, uh, er oh, hello, Ernie Irvin, come Ernie on in Irvin. here. Hello, Ernie, uh, they told a 500 winner, and the man is going to lead them off here. Well, now, uh, what do you think about it? Would you Would you drive for an owner like that? The heck no, I wouldn't right, drive. Boy, you won't buy my car, pay 10 cents. <laughs> 10 no, cents. No. no, I'm not real interested in that, because I get eight where I'm at, and 10 would just make me pay too much taxes. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what, too. I'll give you a car, I'll give you a uh, manufacturer's car to drive, too. Oh, now we're talking. Yeah, yeah. Maybe like a Volkswagen or Yeah, and we'll eat bologna sandwiches. A bologna sandwich, too. All I can eat. Deal. Deal. I'll deal. Stick me on hand. They're wheeling and dealing here in the pits, and it's got to be in the air. And let's get out of here before the ambulance comes and takes Daryl away once again. Back to you, Bob.